A suspected con artist from Mesa is accused of collecting more than a million dollars of COVID relief funds through fraud. Federal investigators hope his case is a warning to other business owners out there trying to game the system. Tonight, Team 12's Joe Dana explains how this Mesa man planned to spend those funds. 47-year-old James Polzin recently purchased a Mesa home with more than $400,000 in cash. Authorities say he was a brazen con artist who, before buying this property, portrayed himself as a tax preparer for several years. Zillow photos from inside the home show it was an impressive purchase. The timeline suggesting the money he used to buy this house came straight from government bailout funds meant to help struggling businesses. State records show James Polzin had three full-time employees at his business, yet claimed he had more than a dozen employees. He's also accused of making bogus claims of revenue. What did those claims get him? A lot. Polzin is accused of collecting more than a million dollars in PPP loans, including one loan worth $740,000. He faces three counts of fraud related to major disaster benefits and three counts of wire fraud. Court records cite a report by CNN showing he did not actually have a CPA license. What's not clear is if Polson had moved into this impressive Parkside Gilbert home that he purchased or if he was using it as an investment property. But it appears he was on his way to enjoying the fruits of his alleged crimes before getting caught. Homeland Security tells us Polson remains behind bars. This is one of a handful of cases across the country involving PPP fraud, we could see more cases in the future as the federal government begins auditing businesses that collected the money. Joe Dana, 12 News.